It's been absolutely brilliant. Um, I did a lot of work on my solo whilst Sophie was preparing for the World Champs. So we got back on just at the end of April and it clicked straight away. We, we've, we've spent a lot of time together in the past anyway, so it wasn't like it was a new pairing coming together, but um, we've just got better and better you know, since then, so we're, we're loving it at the moment. It was good to sort of get back on with Scotty and sort of, sort of get straight into a Commonwealth Games prep and just sort of get into training. And I think the gap did us uh, well actually because we got back on, everything just clicked straight away and it was really good, really happy with it. Well, we only have two events. We have the tandem sprint on the Thursday and then the kilo on the Sunday. And the kilo's always been a Paralympic discipline as well, so we've sort of nailed that, hopefully. Um, you know, it's a simple event, fast as you can, four laps. Um, but we've got the match sprint as well, which is an exciting event, and we're really, really looking forward to, you know, getting stuck in there. To be honest, it's going to be a time of competition all the way through. I mean, the Aussies are always up there and you know, challenging, but they, there's a good Welsh pairing, two good Scottish pairings as well, so it's going to be a good day's racing and, and hopefully we can uh, come out on top. <laughs> yeah, I think that, it, you know, although we're England and it's in Scotland, it's it's pretty much as close as the home games as we're going to get and um, I'm sure that we'll be getting a lot of support. I know that there's a lot of sort of England fans up there anyway, so hopefully they'll be able to drown out the, the others um, <laughs> if, if we don't, but I'm sure everybody will be supporting the home nations.